Hi friends, Miss Sarah here. Just thought I'd stop in and say hey, and that today we're going to be reading the book, The Jelly Beans and the Big Art Adventure. Easter is coming, and one of my favorite Easter candies, other than Reese's Peanut Butter Cut Up Eggs, are the Starburst Jelly Beans, because they're so yummy, yummy, yummy. So I thought this would be a great book to read. Bitsy loved to paint. She painted while eating breakfast, she painted while playing at the beach. She even painted while bowling. Bitsy liked showing her paintings to her best friends, Emily, Anna, and Nicole. Emily loved to dance. Anna loved to read. And Nicole loved to play soccer. Their favorite place to hang out was Petunias, where they loved to share their favorite candy, jelly beans. Just as jelly beans are different flavors but go well together, the girls were all different but got along great, and so they called themselves the Jelly Beans too. The girls met at Petunia's and Bitsy pulled out her latest creation. That's a great painting, said Nicole, balancing a soccer ball on her head. It's really pretty, said Emily, twirling on one foot. It's dazzling, said Anna. Dazzling is my new favorite word. Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer, the candy shop's owner, came over to get a better look. My goodness, she said, that is dazzling. Bitsy can paint anything, said Nicole. That's perfect, said Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer, because I'm redecorating my shop and there's a wonderful way for Bitsy to help. Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer led the girls outside. Bitsy, this is where I would like you to create something special. It's just a wall, said Emily. But it's like a big blank piece of paper, said Bitsy. And we're going to paint something amazing on it. We, said Anna. I don't know how to paint. Me neither, said Emily. All I can draw is a stick figure, Nicole said. Don't worry, everyone can make something beautiful, said Bitsy. I'll show you. Bitsy took the jelly beans to a big museum. It was filled with all kinds of art. Emily saw beautiful paintings. Anna stared at a huge statue. Nicole loved the ancient art that was thousands of years old. After visiting the museum, the jelly beans were excited to create their own art. The next morning, Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer gave the girls paints and brushes and smocks. Nicole painted flowers. Emily painted a rainbow. And Anna painted large, colorful letters. Now it's your turn, Emily, said to Bitsy. What am I going to paint, Bitsy wondered. She stood in front of the wall all afternoon and didn't paint a thing. What's wrong? asked Anna. Everyone will see this painting, Bitsy cried. What if nobody likes it? Everyone will love it, said Nicole. It's going to be a masterpiece, said Anna. We know you can do it, said Emily. Bitsy thought for a moment and then she announced, I have an idea. Bitsy picked up a paintbrush and started to paint. The next day, Bitsy raced in Petunia's candy shop. The mural is finished, she shouted happily. I can't wait to see what you've done, said Petunia, Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer. She and Bitsy walked outside. The other jelly beans crowded around them. It's amazing, said Emily. It's perfect, said Nicole. It's dazzling, cried Anna. What a beautiful mural, Mrs. Dinkley Sneezer. And I know just how I'm going to thank all of you. Here's a treat as sweet as you all. Jelly beans!